Hey, yarny people. This is Shannon from Shannon Talks Yarn. And I wanted to jump on here real quick and talk to you about a couple things. I've got a garage sale haul and a very small joanne.com haul. So please stick around. All right, so this morning I am pretty casual because I just spent the morning with a friend going to a citywide garage sale. And um, in my area, I live in the Midwest United States and oftentimes um, it's rural area. So um, they'll have citywide garage sales, which is a great time where a lot of people, you've got a greater chance of finding good stuff because there's so many going on. I had a couple things on my list this morning. Um, didn't find a lot of them, but I did um, find some yarn and some options that I think are yarn related. So I hope you enjoy this haul. Let's start out with the yarn. At uh, probably the second garage sale we went to, tons and tons of craft stuff. A lot of latch hook rug type stuff, um, some embroidery, which I don't know anything about, um, but there were some bins of yarn marked. And she had a couple, I mean, we're the big totes. A couple of them were marked at $1.50 per skein, and then a couple of the other totes were a dollar per skein. And in the larger ones, it was definitely bigger ones. There were some big twist values, some Red Heart Super Saver, and a couple of the ones I'm gonna show you. And in the smaller ones, I did find some Hirschners, um, and there was also some of the Premier Just Yarn, which at first I was like, come on, that's dollar, you know, it's sold at the Dollar Tree, but, you know, Dollar Tree is $1.25 now, so I guess it was a sale, uh, but I did not get any of that. So I do want to start out by showing you um, what I got out. These were each $1.50. And while I say this, I did try to be as discreet as possible. Um, but one thing you need to know if you are buying this type of product at a garage sale, especially if you're new, is you do need to smell it. Um, there were some of the skeins that just weren't, they, they did not smell the freshest. I, I couldn't identify a smell, but they just weren't fresh. So I just kind of like pretended I was rubbing this to see how soft I was and a little sniff, um, just to make sure I wanted these because you don't want to be working with it. I mean, I know you can wash a blanket once it's already done, but I don't want to work with it if it smells gross or smoky or anything. So I probably would have bought more if there was, if they didn't have that off smell. So the ones I got, all smelled great. Um, so I got this Baby Hugs by Red Heart. Um, it, I don't really know anything about this. I've never worked with it before. It is a medium four weight, um, machine wash and dry. So um, it's just like a nice lavender color. It's called Lilac. It has a sticker on here that I think is probably from Walmart possibly um, for a clearance price of $2.47. Uh, but again, I got it for $1.50. It smells just fine and it actually is pretty soft. So I have never used baby hugs before, but for $1.50, I wanted to grab that. The next ones I got were Red Heart Soft Baby Steps. Again, I haven't ever used this one either. Uh, this color is Jade and it is a medium four weight as well it looks like let's see it's hard to see on this one let me check this one here again 100 percent acrylic machine wash and dry it's extremely soft it's, it's definitely even softer than that other one and it does have like kind of a pretty sheen to it so i picked up two of these these smell nice and fresh there was a couple others that did not smell that fresh so we got these and these again have that clearance sticker for $2.97 on there I think it's from Walmart but if not let me know if, if you recognize that but I thought again for I mean it was three dollars for the two of them so I am happy with that purchase and then the last of the larger ones that I got is uh, baby hugs again so same as that lilac and it has a clearance price of $2.47. Um, it is a medium um, four weight. This machine wash and dry again, this is called Blueberry. And um, you know, it's definitely softer than a Red Heart Super Saver. 
So yeah, I thought that was pretty and a good find there. Um, you know, and this, I think it's just a good like utility type one to keep on hand in my stash. So pleased with that as well. And again, no smell at all. Now, the rest of the ones that I got were from Hirschner's. So this one is the only one, it says Hirschner's Home, Home Style, and 75% acrylic, 25% washable wool, three ounces, 155 yards, machine wash, gentle dry. It is a medium four. Smells good. It's a really pretty gold color. Um, I don't know if it actually says what the actual color is on here though. Uh, made in China and it is chain spun. So I don't know if you can see that super well there, but I really like this. Like it's a nice thick yarn. Um, I mean, there's not a ton of it in the little skein, but I think I'm actually gonna get on Hirschner's and check out and see if they still sell this. I don't know. I don't know. I'll check it out though. Um, but it's very soft and I'm um, definitely enough here that I can make like a small hat or a headband or something in this pretty fall gold color. So happy with that. Smells good. Then there was two of these Hirschner's two ply Afghan yarns. And again, um, that last one and these were in the dollar bin there. I have seen these um, on their website. So I know these still are available. I did not realize, that, like when I've seen them, I think that they um, are routinely marked at like $1.77, I think is what they are. Um, I did not realize they, they were little ones, little tiny guys. So again, I thought these were very pretty fall colors. Um, deep teal and pomegranate. Uh, what else does it say? 100% acrylic and machine wash dry flat. Now it says this is a two weight, but it really doesn't look that, you know, that bad. Um, I mean, yeah, it's smaller than a four weight, but really, I don't know. I mean, it's, I feel like I would buy this and um, I think I would be comfortable using it, which I would not have been comfortable ordering online because it says it's a two fine. Um, it is twisted. Um, and it, I mean, it is smaller than those four weights I have, but it's not bad. I would consider this probably more of a three weight um, because again, I would still be comfortable using it. So for a dollar, I feel totally okay with this and I might actually look at their selection and see what they have and see if there's anything else. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this does say machine wash dry flat. And then I got three more. Again, these were all out of their dollar um, bin at this particular garage sale. Do you call it garage sales where you live? Um, are they called rummage sales, yard sales? I don't know. Um, in my area, it's mostly garage sales is what we call them. So these are all Hirschner's Holiday Victorian Christmas. They are tiny little balls here. Um, let's see if it says what the ounces are. It, uh, it's 1.75 ounces, so uh, like a 50 gram ball. And it is machine wash, dry flat, made in China, uh, 98 acrylic, 2% polyester, which would probably be the metallic stuff in there. And these are a four weight. So I have got burgundy, which is just definitely a red. It's totally not a burgundy. And what is this one? Beige, um, which I would just call an off white color. Very pretty. And then green. So I don't know what they sold these for, um, but again, I purchased these for a dollar each. Totally smells just fine. Um, I am happy with these. I guess this is something where I would definitely look at these in the future, but I guess just know, woo, they are, they are tiny. Um, I have actually purchased a couple things from Hershner's lately that were definitely tinier than I anticipated them being. 
Um, so yeah, um, I thought these were a good find. I know Christmas is pretty far away, but I, I kind of like having these in my stash just in case. And I mean, this one you probably wouldn't have to use for Christmas. These definitely look a little more Christmassy. So that's it for the yarn. I got two yarn related um, objects, I guess you would say. So the first one I paid $1 for, and it is actually a makeup brush holder here. Um, but I thought this would be great for some of my metal hooks um, I could put in here and it has, you know, the pouch here on the side. So if I wanted to put in, you know, my tape measure, little tiny scissors, things like that, or extra hooks maybe that are too big, um, I could definitely do that. And for a dollar, I thought that was a great purchase. It does wrap up. So it's not even really that much bigger than my normal pouch that I carry stuff in, um, but a great option and willing to try that out for a dollar. And then the final thing I got from the garage sales was for stash organization, which I definitely, definitely need to work on. I am working out of one small closet. I, my house is well over a hundred years old, so not a ton of closet space. And um, I just, I know it needs some extra effort. So I got this. It is a shoe or sweater organizer. It smells like a dryer sheet. So clearly it was not used for shoes. It was probably some, you know, other clothes. But I really liked how this was plastic. So, you know, I can hang it up. You hang it off your closet rod right there. Um, but I really like how it's clear, so potentially you could see from the sides. I mean, I'm pretty sure since my closet is so small, I'd only be looking at it from the front anyway. Um, but I did pay $3 for this, and it's in great condition. Like, there's no dust or cat hair or anything, anything undesirable on there. So I am quite happy with this. That is it for my garage sale haul, but I do have just a couple options or items here from joanne.com that I wanted to show you, but really wasn't enough for a full video. So I placed an order and I have a project I'm working on that is strawberry themed. And so I wanted to get some cute strawberry buttons. I believe I paid around $2.50 for these. There's some strawberries and daisies. They are quite small, um, but they are very cute. And then, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna use these, but I have some camper projects for a camper we're working on. Do you call them campers where you live? Is it a travel trailer? What do you call it? It's camper here in the Midwest. Um, so a lot of the things I have in it are like plaid and acorn um, themed and some leaves and stuff. So I found these cute buttons. Again, they are very small, um, but I thought that would be fun on some curtains I'm making and just if I wanna add a little cute acorn accent. So again, around 250 for those. And then I did get some big sock, big twist sock that was being on closeout. So each of these, I paid $2.60 for each of these. Uh, they're all the same specs. It's a number four and it's 320 yards. It's six ounces, machine washable um, and lay flat to dry. So I don't know how much of this is still left. When I got the packaging, this stuff came in like four separate orders, all from different places. Um, so it makes me think they are running pretty low on them. But I got charcoal. Denim. Blush. Violet. I would assume this is black and black. Yes. So, um, like I said, two dollars and sixty cents for all of these. My thought is these are just great ones to have in my stash as just basic colors to kind of pull from for any project I might be working on. And the fact that it is, um, did I say over three hundred yards? 
yeah, over 300 yards for $2.60. So basically, even if you were wanting just basic like Dollar Tree, that's about 130 yards for $1.25. So this was definitely a way better deal. And it actually is pretty soft. So yeah, very tiny haul, but I'm just happy to be able to add these to my stash. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know it was kind of super casual, um, but I just wanted to pop on and show you some of my great finds where I was still excited about them and before I got them put away. So thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, click the thumbs up or share this with a friend. I would love to be able to talk more yarn with you. Have a great day.